Hi everyone and welcome to my channel. So today it is time for a watercolor video and today I would like to paint this barn owl. Now this barn owl it's by the photographer Ben Jenkins and I got it from the Facebook group Artists with Photographers and I just thought it was a really lovely photo that I really uh, you know would like to paint. There it is. And I made this sketch a while ago in my art journal and I really like how simple it is and I can see this as a design on a coffee mug or you know on an iPhone case and that is what I would like to do today so I'm gonna paint it a little bit bigger and you know try and do it like a proper painting out of this I still would like to keep it very fluid and loose because I really like the look of this so I'm going to do it quite small so that I can't get you know lost in too many details so this is my, like the goal that I'm aiming for. Now I have already sketched out uh, the barn owl on a piece of paper so that I can trace this onto my paper. And I am going to paint on hot pressed paper today, 100% cotton hot pressed paper. Now the only thing that I notice now when I have already sketched out the bird is that this paper is probably a little bit too small. I won't have that much room to paint you know to play with the abstract background and I'm going to want quite a lot of white space behind it as well so that I can really uh, play around with the design and get it to fit onto uh, a mug or something like that so before I start today I think I will actually change my paper to a bigger uh, bigger piece of, uh, of paper but that is the plan anyway I'm going to just cover the backside with a very dark graphite then I'm gonna trace uh, the barn owl through my sketch onto the paper and then we will start painting now I don't have a lot of time to paint today so I will just fast forward through it all and if I have anything interesting that I really would like to explain I will do that as a voiceover but first now I will go and get myself a bigger piece of paper and then we can start so either listen to my music or put on uh, you know, put my video on silence and put on your favorite music and then uh, let's see what I come up with. But other than that, simple process, I will first start by transferring this drawing to a piece of paper and then I will mask off the bird and then I will paint the background, then I will remove uh, the masking fluid and paint uh, the bird itself and hopefully we can get it into uh, looking into a very nice design that I can then upload and print out on uh, coffee mugs and the likes. So, but anyway, let's get started.
now it's all done and dry and I know that in the beginning of the video I stated that my intention for this piece was to keep it quite loose and not go into too much detail. Well, as you can see, I totally forgot all about that while I start, you know, after I started painting. I'd listened to some uh, great music and some programs on YouTube while painting and I just got lost in the details as usual. So, uh, but the great thing is with art, of course, I can do it again. I still have my sketch so I can very fast sketching out again and next time try and do it a little bit more loose the way that I had first imagined uh, this painting. I still like this one though. It, uh, you know, barn owls are just such a joy to paint and I think that is why I just got lost in the details with all those subtle, subtle, you know, colors. They have, you know, all these cool gray colors at the same time that they have the beautiful, you know, like uh, terracotta kind of reds uh, in the feathers. So absolute joy to paint. But that's what's great about art. You don't have to be satisfied with your first attempt, even if I really like this one. Uh, but it was not really what I had in mind, so I will probably paint it again and then try to keep it a little bit more loose. So, uh, yeah, art is a, a, great, a great way to just explore and to experiment and just try out a few different things until you, you know, have that on paper, what you can also see in your, uh, in your mind. So, what I do like about this, what, uh, even if it became a little bit too detailed, uh, not that that is a bad thing, it was just not what I had in mind, but I do like how the background, you know, and the shadow part of the bird here, it's like they disappear into each other, which makes uh, the wings and, and, and the face stand out that much more. So, and that was a conscious uh, choice as well. But yeah, otherwise, I'm really happy with how it turned out with the background and, you know, how con even if it's very free and, and the background is very abstract, it's still quite contained. And this way I think it would look very nice printed out like on an iPhone case or on a uh, coffee mug and the like. And that is uh, why I wanted to paint it this way. So I will, in the coming weeks, I am going to try and uh, play a little bit with that. So, but anyway. This was uh, my project for today. I hope you liked it. I hope you enjoyed it. And I will see you next time with a painting session in my art journal. So I wish you a beautiful week until then. And uh, happy painting. Bye.